My name is Stefano. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the Notorious Pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. The first step is to create a new document. Choose File New or better use the shortcut Command N. In the New Document dialog box choose Intent Print. Settings are not important for this exercise. I'm going for an A4 document. Press Create. For this exercise, I'm working in the Layout Workspace mode. To make it easier, I'm going to turn on the grid. Choose View, Show Grid. Use the shortcut Command Plus to zoom in. Use the spacebar key to navigate in your document. I'm zooming in a bit further. Now press the P key to activate the pen tool. A common mistake is to try to use the pen tool as a sort of a pencil or a freehand tool. So using the pen tool like this won't work. Anchor points are essential when using the pen tool. I start by clicking one time for my first anchor point. In Illustrator you get a sort of a preview when moving the mouse around. Click a second time to create a straight line segment. Use the escape key to stop drawing. I have this straight line segment. If I want to continue drawing, the only thing I have to do is move my cursor towards the second anchor point. Pay attention to your cursor. Now you have a little slash, meaning you can pick up the part. I click once to pick up the part and I continue drawing. Now I click for my third anchor point. I'm going to close the form by moving towards my first anchor point. Pay attention to your cursor. Now you see a circle, meaning you're about to close this form. This is a closed shape. Now we can give it another fill in the swatches panel and maybe get rid of our stroke. In the next step, I want to change my triangle shape. Therefore, I activate the direct selection tool, press the A key. Now hover over one of the anchor points, click to select it, it turns blue, meaning it's a selected anchor point. Now I can move the anchor point and reshape the triangle. To add anchor points, I can use the pen tool, press P, to activate the pen tool. Pay attention to the cursor. When I'm hovering over a part, you see the plus sign. I'm going to click once to add an extra anchor point. To delete anchor points, you can hover over an anchor point. And when you see the minus icon, you can click to delete the anchor point. Press the A key for a direct selection tool and now click and drag the new anchor point. In the next step, I'm going to draw a much more advanced shape. 
Press D for your default colors. Black as a stroke color and white as a fill. When using the pen tool, often it's handy to set the fill to none. Activate the pen tool pressing P. You can use the shift key to create 45 degree line segments. Press escape when you're done. Let's start with the real thing. Draw smooth curves with the pen tool. Activate the pen tool and now pay attention. Click, don't release your mouse. Move it upwards and you see two handles appear. We need handles for smooth curves. Release the mouse when you see the handles. Now click again for your second anchor point. Remember not to release the mouse. Release the mouse when you're done. I only needed two anchor points for this curved form. Let's continue. Click to close the form, don't release your mouse because I'm going to move upwards. And now release the mouse for a sort of an egg form. This form consists of only three anchor points. Let's repeat the previous steps. Click for our first anchor point, move upwards. Release the mouse, click for a second anchor point, now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use the ALT key and bring the second handle upwards. Release the mouse and now I'm continuing my form. Repeat, hold down the ALT key, bring the second handle up, release, continue. Release the mouse. When you're done, and press the escape key. A last possibility, a curved line continuing in a straight line. For this exercise, I'm going to show you a trick. Instead of the normal pen cursor, I'm going to switch to the precise cursor. Press the caps lock key to toggle between normal cursor and precise cursor. 
Click for your first anchor point, don't release your mouse. Release the mouse when you see the handles. Click for your second anchor point. Don't release the mouse. First press the Alt key, bring back the second handle to anchor point 2 and then you can continue for a straight line. Press the Escape key to close this form. Now pick up the path, click and drag for your handle, release the mouse, click for your fourth anchor point, drag down, press the Alt key, bring it back to anchor point 4 and continue for your straight line. And that's it. For those who wonder what you can do with the pen tool, once you are advanced and experienced, you can create drawings like these. This is a work of one of my students. Let me show another work. One of the mandatory assignments for my students is to redraw a picture. It's done with the pen tool and illustrator and this is one of the results. I hope this is good inspiration for you to start using the pen tool. If you love this video, please subscribe to my channel. More videos are upcoming. Bye for now.